Its beginning in September of 1972 was both historic and humble. In the beginning, BART only carried 100,000 customers a week. We're now serving about 400,000 riders a day, and we're trying to plan for 750,000 riders a day. And that's going to take an investment in capacity as well. Capacity is now managed by the same system that was state-of-the-art in 1972, when BART was the world's first automated train system. That automated train control system is fast becoming the number one cause of BART train delays. A lot of the equipment is obsolete, so it becomes very challenging to actually do the repairs. To do repairs, BART engineers have to scour the internet all over the world to look for parts that haven't been built in decades for a train system that is now the oldest in the nation. It's time for reinvestment. New cars are on the way, and that's just the beginning. We're going to have to replace the communication system. We're going to have to replace the wayside power system. We're going to have to replace the trains. We're going to have to replace a lot of things. Destination signs need to be replaced. The cardboard equipment needs to be replaced. We need new servers. We need uh, new automatic train control equipment. And then the list goes on and on and on and on. You know, telecommunication needs to be updated. We're looking at extensions that all of it has to be tied together. Rebuilding the nation's first mass transit train system will be expensive. We're in the range of about uh, $16 billion that is needed. We have about seven of that $16 billion. And then we need to prioritize. We're not going to ask the voters to pay for all of that up front. You're in the range of $3 billion that we will need to get to invest in the system. It's hard for people to imagine the cost of doing nothing. They think that if we don't invest in it, then we'll only have the service we have. And that's not the case, particularly an agent, agency at a critical point, as BART is right now. Um, if you don't invest anything new, then the condition of the system drops and drops and drops. Local taxpayers paid to build the original BART. Their contribution will be essential to rebuilding the system that will carry us and our children for the next 40 years. For BART TV, Mark Jones reporting.